Welcome to European Master in Customer Relationship Marketing. My name is Sławomir Smyczak and I am Professor of Marketing at the University of Economics in Katowice. At our university, in the framework of International Business Programme, we create Mercury, uh, a study which is the strong focus on marketing activity of the companies, but also what is very important nowadays on customer and how to build relations between the customers and our company. Let me give you the short insight into this program and I would like to invite you for the lectures on customer loyalty on the market. Let's first talk about what does mean loyalty. Many experts think that loyalty is just purchasing and consuming only products of one company. So it means that we only analyze the behaviors of the customers on the market. However, this is only the symptoms of the being loyal. Being loyal on the market means also, and maybe this is the crucial element, that is some attitudes of the customer toward your brand. So it's long-term and durable relations between uh, your uh, company and the customers. So if we will take in consideration both the behavioral elements of, the, uh, of customer loyalty, like purchasing and consuming uh, products of this particular company, and these attitudes of the customers, this is the crucial element of the customer loyalty. And I'm not talking only about the customer loyalty. We should also think about the loyalty of the company. So if your client uh, also uh, could require your loyalty from your side. So we are able to create this durable relationship only if we be loyal from the both sides. So in the practice, we can say that the loyalty we always has, uh, we, are, we always create it according to the brand, particular brand of the market. So it is a willingness of the customers to buy the products from the brand. And this kind of attitudes could have different reasons. Uh, among the others, we can identify, for example, the habits, because this, for example, the cafeteria, which is near your house and is friendly atmosphere and you really like it. So thanks to this kind of habits, you want to be loyal to this brand. But also we can treat the brand as a special distinguished characteristics. For example, the image of the brand, like those who are big fan of the Highland Davidson or Coca-Cola and the other brands on the market. But also it could be just convictions of buying good quality products because the lo uh, loyalty of the program could be somehow the security for the customers that you check the product, uh, you know this product and this, uh, this brand guarantee you the high quality. Probably we can find so many other reasons that we are loyal. The most important uh, for the future manager is to, that need, he or she need to have the ability to identify such a motives and basing on this motive, create a loyalty program for your clients. We are able to identify different determinants of customer loyalty. Among the others, we can identify, for example, cult, um, country culture. Like uh, the best example could be Great Britain, when the British customers, especially the English one, they are representing very high ethnocentric levels and they are very loyal, but to the British. So everything what is English, in their opinion, is better and they prefer to be loyal to this English or British brands. It's also you know, another determinant is development of the market. Uh, the market where is not that uh, strongly developed and the competition is not strong on the market still is the space for the companies which are uh, not playing fair you know, with the customers. So that's why the customers are introduced the loyalty uh, to protect themselves on this particular market. In well-developed market, usually we can observe declining of the loyalty of the customers because if they don't need to force with such a risk on the market, they can look for, the, for another um, elements of the, of the brands. Uh, another uh, determinant is the type of the product, especially if you want to distinguish um, uh, the characteristics between tangible goods and the services. Usually, especially when we are talking about the services which are not tangible and the personal services, then we believe that the loyalty to this person who is uh, delivering you the services can also protect the customers on the market. 
Apart of the others, we can also identify the age of the customers. And usually, re uh, research shows on different markets that the older we are, more loyal we are on the market. We don't want to take the risk to find out the new uh, brands on the market and l potentially lose the money on this market. And there are two other um, determinants, like level of education and economical situation of the household. Usually well-educated customers and at the same time richer customers, they know the responsibility of the economy uh, and uh, especially if we are talking in the context of the consumer ethnocentrism and that's why usually they try to be more loyal to the local brands. On the other side, when we are talking about very poor customers and less educated, where they were very short uh, household budget, they cannot afford uh, to switch brand to one to another and they prefer to stay with uh, this brand which they know very well and they know that they don't lose their money on the market. We are also able to identify psychological characteristics of the customers. Like for example, those who are more hedonistic or more individualist, they prefer to switch the brands because they really want to experience what is new on the market. From the other side, those customers which are more conservative uh, or more patriotic, uh, usually also they are much more loyal to particular brands. And such a determinants, it's much, much more. So again, you, if you want to be successful, manager on the market. You should get this knowledge about the uh, motives and the preferences of the customers according to the loyalty. On the market we are able to identify different type of uh, loyalty. For example, we can identify indivisible loyalty when the customers according to this particular product category is loyal to the one brand. As examples could be the Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Those who are addicted to Coca-Cola, usually they are one of the biggest enemies to Pepsi and vice versa. On the other side, we are able to identify the visible uh, loyalty of the customers, which according to the product category, customers usually prefer two or three brands and usually they focus on this brands. For the first time, this kind of loyalty was observed on the toothpaste market because every six months when you visit your dentist, usually he or she will recommend you to change the toothpaste because of the health reasons. So that's why um, we follow the recommendation of the doctors. Usually we concentrate on two or three toothpaste um, on the market. We also are able to identify another types of the loyalty. We can identify the true loyalty of the customers and seeming loyalty. The true loyalty is really a combination of two elements. The behavioral one, so purchasing the products for this particular brand, and also the attitudes, so the really long emotional relations between the customer and the company. And on the side, we can also observe the seeming loyalty, which is also the purchase uh, of uh, next time uh, that the product is a result of the habit or the passive attitudes of the customers. Another phenomenon we have to take in consideration is related to the relations between satisfaction of customers and loyalty. Many times we can, we can hear that a satisfied customer is usually loyal customers and vice versa. If you are not satisfied, if you feel post-purchase dissonance on the market, you probably you are not loyal customer. Well, actually it's only partly true because when we take in consideration these two elements, satisfaction and loyalty of the customers, we are able to identify four different types of the customers. The customers who are very satisfied and at the same time very loyal, we call them apostles, following the apostles from the Bible. Uh, what was the role of the apostles? They have to go to the, to the world and they have to promote the new religions, but not only promote new religions, but also they need to attract new believers to these religions. And also these apostles, the customers, we can use them as the free promotional tools, so they can not only increase the number of the purchasing our products, but they can promote our company among the other customers and attract them to our company. On the other side, we have the terrorists, the customers which are not satisfied and not loyal. Uh, well, actually, we know very well that the terrorists usually destroyed everything from the inside. So we don't want to cooperate with such a customer. So we have to do everything 
to eliminate these customers from the portfolio of our clients. And we have two other very specific type of the customers. Uh, let me introduce the hostage. So the clients which are not satisfied, but very loyal. Many times we have this situation on the market when the cus uh, on the monopoly markets, when the customer has no other options uh, on, uh, and they cannot switch to another uh, brand. So they, they are staying with us, but everything what we have to do and what we can deliver to the customers is extra financial or economical benefits. So the longer they are with us, they need to uh, receive more benefits, economical benefits, because they cannot feel like a loser that they are staying with us. And finally, the last group of the customers is the greedy customers. The customers, they are very satisfied but not loyal. Usually, these customers are very well educated and sometimes even call experts on this particular market. And nowadays, they are with us because we are delivering the best offer on the market. But sooner or later, our competitors will introduce something better. And because there are lack of emotional relations with us, they will move immediately uh, to the competitors. So, as we can see, first lesson uh, taken from this analysis that one of the biggest mistakes made by many companies on the global market is that we are offering one loyalty program for different type of the customers. As, as we can see, we need to concentrate on the one loyalty programs, but dedicated to particular uh, segments of the market. So, for example, completely different loyalty programs for the apostles, different for the hostage, and the, uh, different for the greedy customers. We don't do anything for the terrorists. And the second lesson we have from this analysis, that if you want to create really good uh, loyalty uh, programs and uh, successful loyalty programs, you need to build these relations on the two pillars, economical one and emotional. You cannot tie uh, your customers with your brand only basing on the economical elements or financial elements because sooner or later uh, the competitors will be more attractive and they will beat you in this area. You cannot only build the, uh, the customer loyalty basing only on the emotions because at the end of the day we also have to pay the bills. So if you want to create long-term and durable relations with your business partners, you need to build them on the two pillars, economical one and emotional one. If you want to know more about uh, these relations and how to run successfully business, how to understand the customers and what kind of uh, instruments you can implement to build this uh, good relationship between the customers and your company, please study Mercury at the four universities in Europe, University of Economics in Katowice, University of Grenoble Alps, University of Applied Science in Aschaffenburg, and uh, University of Cardinal Herrera in Valencia. We will deliver you not only uh, the certain knowledge which is necessary for successful business, but also you can experience fantastic international uh, spirit that we create at our program. So welcome to European Master in Customer Relationship Marketing and see you in October at the University of Economics in Katowice. Thank you.